Now, for those of you going for June, July, and beyond, my advice is actually that you take both June and July. And you might think, why would I tell you to take July as well if you've been planning on June? Because maybe you won't need, need July if June goes well. The thing is that law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores. They only consider the highest LSAT score. And so for that reason, there's never really a downside to retaking. And previously, retaking would mean that you were studying for an additional two to three months back when the LSAT was only four times a year. That's no longer the case. Now the LSAT is nine to 10 times a year. And so the July LSAT is only about five to six weeks after the June exam, which means that if you can stay fresh on your LSAT studies for that additional five to six weeks, you could potentially improve your score by just a couple of points doing nothing more than staying fresh on the LSAT. Now you might think, how do I know I'm going to do better? You don't, and you might not. The funny thing about the LSAT is that there is a kind of score band or margin of error of three and a half points on either end, which means that you could get a 167 one day, a 174 the next day, and the LSAT is still a perfectly valid test. That's the funny thing. Your true aptitude might be a 170 or a 171, but you have a good day, it's a 174. You have a bad day, it's a 167. And so let's say you take it in June, you get a 170. Through nothing more than blind luck, you could retake it and get a 174. And a 174, of course, will open far more doors than a 170 will. I actually found this study recently that showed that the value of an additional single point on the LSAT is another $4,000 of value. And that's another $4,000 of value in terms of maybe getting more scholarship money or getting into a better law school. And so the ROI on that is huge. More scholarship money, another five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a year over the course of three years, or getting into a top 14, the career opportunities that opens are enormous. And so if, you, if all that requires is staying fresh on the LSAT for another five to six weeks, it's well worth it. And even if things don't, do any, don't go any better on the July LSAT, you still have your higher June score to apply with, and law schools don't care that you did better or worse the next time around. Again, they're only considering the highest score.